Well, welcome back, everyone. It's good to see you all. And let's get back into the adventures of Care Laray. Of course! Alright, so the party just cleared up the Windspear Hills. I think the, uh, really the smart thing to do would actually be to stop uh, by Trade Me on the way back to Athkatla. And, uh, obviously do some trading, <laughs> as the name of the town would suggest. And also, uh, drop off Mazzy. I mean, Carrot brought her along to help with the dangers here, and she proved very helpful. But, uh, I think it's time to actually return and, uh, let her be with her family. I wouldn't dream of refusing. You are not old enough to know, but keep your hands I believe this merchant. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Busy around here. Uh, yes, he can identify things. Well, first, let's let's just go identify everything. I don't really want to waste time repairing everything. Alright, wand and a horn. Alright. Wand of fear. Horn of blasting. While many army engineers spent their time perfecting siege equipment, Julius Bigar delved into magical tomes for his engineering insights. Therein he found ancient scriptures that detailed how to make, control, and wield sound waves. The horn of blasting was his first and only attempt at taking the theoretical magical knowledge to create a practical new technology. An apprentice flew through the horn, aimed in the direction of Julius, who insisted on a useful experiment. The resulting shockwave that emanated from the horn first stunned and then tore poor Julius apart. Yikes. Special abilities once per day. Sonic Wave. Everyone in the area takes 2 to 20 hit points damage and are stunned for 2 rounds. Save versus paralyzation for half and to avoid being stunned. Wow, tense. Alright, does Yoshimo have anything? Nope. What about Chihira? No, nothing to identify here. Massey? Uh, yes, armor, a sword. Let's identify those. What is it? Uh, this armor is well worn by many a fine soldier, but among the best known from who it was named was Delver Kinlake. He was a vagabond whose strong sword arm and keen wit made him a respected general to the Lords of Waterdeep. A gift from Lord Bayron, the armor served Delver well for thirty years, and after his death it passed to his eldest son. He since made its way into the hands of a variety of adventurers. Armor class one, weight twenty-five. Hmm. And then this derivative of the long sword, two-handed sword is significantly longer. I think it's basically just a plus two two-handed sword. Anyway, uh, let's see what Minsk has to identify. Scroll. We can identify plus one arrows, that's not an issue. Alright, what's this? Protection from fire scroll, and a battle axe of some kind or another. And then finally this mysterious sword that was on Furcrate's person. What is this? Wow. The Holy Avenger, Karsamir. Karsamir is a weapon of legend, perhaps one of the most powerful blades ever forged on Faerun, though its origin and history is thought purposely forgotten, such that the sword itself never overshadowed the importance of the struggles that must be fought today. It is infused with the very essence of virtue, and requires as much from any paladin that would hope to wield it. The evils of the realms must truly stand aside when this weapon is brought to bear, their magic dispelled with a word, steadfastly resisted with ease. Karsamir also harbors a special distaste for the forces of evil and chaos. Such creatures must fear additional damage from its touch in battle. 50% magic resistance. Dispel magic three times per day. Plus five damage to chaotic evil opponents in addition to other bonuses. Dispels magic whenever the sword strikes an opponent. Plus five two-handed sword. Only usable by paladins. <laughs> wow. That is a real relic right there. I haven't there. been this pleased with a group of folks since the Cormirians sent the price of turnips through the roof during the Onion Famine. Carrot is obviously going to hold on to that. And yeah, he's holding on to this helmet considering it can kind of be his cover if he needs it. Oh yeah, the Orcish cookbook. Um, we should probably sell that to someone. 
Um, let's see, what's this? Book of Kingstrom the third. Eh, that's really more of a memento, but not really anything Carrot is interested in. Chapel key. No, they don't need that anymore. Sewer key does want to keep. He's not sure what it's for, but he found it. It might lead to something interesting. Alright. Um, that said... What else? And I guess we just have to get rid of a whole bunch of junk, really. Or identify it. I guess that would probably be the most rational thing to do. Okay. And now just sell off a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Uh, we are just all heroes. You and Boo and I. Hamsters and rangers everywhere. Rejoice! Want to fear. Don't really need it. I mean, we got lots of darts, but we don't really need those either. Spell thrust. No. Domination. Maybe. Sell the darts. I mean, darts are neat and all, but we don't need them. And they're good money, too. That's not really something we should turn up our nose from. Let me see. Eh, we'll keep the twig and bow for now. Angel skin ring, we don't need that. Uh, let's see, Jahira has this nice collection of weapons going. Ooh, very valuable jewelry. I'm gonna keep the rogue stones. I think those are unique and interesting. Definitely want to keep that shield. Well, oh, there's a bunch of jewelry we don't obviously need. I'm gonna keep that plate. Two handed sword plus two. Nah. Large shield? Um, I keep that. Helm of Infravision. Maybe. Medium shield? No. Studded leather plus two? Probably. Oh, there's only one of us that can actually use it. Really? Who would want to use it anyway? Mmm, no. And he has better anyway. So, I'll just sell that. Alright, how about Minsk? What stuff does he have that he could sell? Plus two battle axe. Plus one plate mail, different types. Not really that impressive. Get rid of that. Ah, we're making a decent amount of coin off this. Obviously, I want to keep the dragon scales. Uh, anything in his bag? Battle axe, plus three frost reaver, the ripper, Allah's axe. What does this do? Oh wow, miscast magic. Hmm. Our bane sword, nail of the dead, hard shield, orc leather, plus two halberd. Got a lot of neat stuff in that wolf skin bag. A lot of neat stuff. Um, let's get a little bit of organized first, though. All right, let's see how much stuff we have left. All right, we have some decent equipment left over. I think I just want to use up these lightning bolts though first. All right, now I'll just stick with the normal ones for now. Alright, fun scrolls. Um, as for this horn, I don't know. We'll give that to somebody. How about you there, Yoshimo? That might be fun. This enemy certainly wouldn't expect that coming out of you. Would probably be a huge surprise for them. I think we should probably give Toygenbo to Minsk so he can put it in the bag. For the rest of the stuff that we're hoarding. Man, he's got so many arrows. He's got to use it up. Uh, yeah, Rogue Stone should go to Carrot. Along with this spell. Fire Shield Red, that's a good one. Um, what is this? Ah, Firk Raid's Challenge. And this? Ah, oh, the Master Key and Nali's Keep, if we ever wanted it. I don't think we really do. Uh, proclamation of warning to all guild members. That's evidence. And the Crom Fair Scroll. You know, we want to keep that. Start lore of coin is not but bait. Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep this. All this though can uh, can go. Does Yan know this spell? 
Yeah, he does. What about all the spells he has here on him? Yes. What about domination? Yeah. Alright, he knows all those. What about teleport field? Oh, that's alteration. Oh, he already knows it. Maybe Yan can learn it. There you go. And I think Kara knows fire shield. Yeah, he does. Alright, cool. Alright, well, with that in mind. Oh, right, he needs to clear out his gem bag. And we need to get rid of all the stuff that we don't actually want, Jahira. Um, this to him. Alright, starting to more rationally organize everything we have here. Oh, the container is full. There's got to be something we can get rid of. Who uses halberds? I mean, really. Nobody, that's who. I'll just sell it. Sell this. Uh, this is more scrolls for Cared. Um, what are these books? History of the North? History of Shadowdale? No idea why Minsk is carrying books, considering the guy can't even read. Maybe Cared gave them to him? I don't really, I'm not really sure. Either way, that doesn't make terribly much sense, all things considered. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just sell those two. So much stuff. I'm just drowning it. Uh, yeah, we gotta sell that stuff. So, sell all this. Delver's plate. Who should wear that? Alright, she's already got pretty decent armor there. Maybe we should just give this to Mazzy. You know, that, that's her parting gift. I mean, because Jahira has full plate plus one. And Miskus has plain old full plate. There isn't really anyone else here that would be able to wear it. Then again, maybe we should save it. It's a decent piece. How much does it weigh? Only 25 pounds. Versus... Well, weight isn't really an issue with the strength enhancing items we have. Not really an issue at all. Hmm. Well then, I guess if that's the case, we should just sell it. I mean, it's just plus... I mean, this has more armor class, and this has more armor class, and it allows bonuses, so... Yeah, there's no real point in keeping it. Large shield plus two, I mean, that's generally unremarkable. Jahira has better in the way of magic shields, and so does Mazzy. Yeah, I don't really see why it's necessary to keep that. Helm of Infravision. Oh, Carrot would want to keep that helm, though. Maybe give that to Minsk or something. I don't know, I'm not so sure. Either way, though, that is something he would want uh, the party to hold on to. Uh, maybe put it in the magic bag along with something other, something else that's junky that we don't need. Like this orc leather. I mean, really, uh, they've got better. He's the only one who uses that stuff anyway. So, we'll sell that too. And these scrolls. Eh, we'll hold on to them for now. This is all just evidence we don't even really need anymore. We could sell that. There's a cookbook. We could sell this. That's her stuff. We would definitely want to keep the shields. Because they're actually pretty powerful magical items that are definitely worth keeping. In fact, we should actually give one to Jahira. This one just gives magic resistance. This one is all about elemental resistances. This one's all about being immune to different types of effects. I think this actually might be more useful for her in general, having those immunities. Oh yeah, it's a plus two. All right, plus two. Maybe give that to Minsk. Oh, or just sell it. I mean, it's really not that big a deal. I mean, it's not the most amazing weapon in the world, and it's really not our job to hold on to every little thing we find. I mean, the mail of the dead. You could probably sell that. I mean, it's a neat piece of armor, but it's basically just plus two chain. And we already have stuff that's better. 
Then again, that might be decent filler armor if we actually run into someone who needs it. Um, hmm, yeah, let's just sell all that stuff then. Sell that. She can keep that. Uh, healing potions, we need them. Please hand them over, Messi. Huh. Hope you don't mind, of course not. And strength enhancing potions. You can keep the flame tongue, the mace plus one, the dagger plus two. We don't really need any of those things. I mean, just, yeah, don't need that. Keep those arrows. And the dark mail. I mean, it seems to suit her, really. And again, how light is it? Wow, it's really light, actually. Really, really light. Well, with that in mind, maybe we should leave her with another type of armor. Maybe we should leave her with the mail of the dead. Instead of the dark mail. Uh, armor class 2, armor class 3. Yeah, why not? And uh, we can save this instead, and then just sell the rest. Yeah, that sounds good. If your parents don't buy you a pointy stick, they don't love you. What are they trying to hide? If your parents don't buy you a pointy stick, they don't love you. I was not expecting to hear that from the crowd. Hmm. Oh, the things you hear in these games. Silver rings. Why do we even bother picking them up sometimes? Really all the time. They're worth one gold piece. Alright, um, oh, valuable jewels. Oh, alright. How about this one? This is odd. Apparently these two uh, gem bags seem to be linked in some way. It's like, just give this to Yan, and he opens it up, and that stuff's in there. Carried over this one up, and it's in the same amount of possessions. That's really odd how that works. I don't think that's actually the way it's supposed to work. Because he takes the stuff out. Oh look, there it is. Yan opens this up, and now it's empty. Which makes me think that uh, well, these bags, one of them at least, is glitched. Obviously not good. Um, well, here, let's test something. Take one of the rogue stones. Massey has it. Stick it in there. Alright, it's there. I go over to this one, and there it is. Takes it out, it's in his inventory. We go to check her bag, and it's not there. Yeah, alright, this gem bag is kind of redundant then, if that's how it's going to work. It's a bit silly, I'd say, but you know, what can you do? Uh, so we're just going to have to keep the valuables in this one, and I guess just sell, uh, sell the other gem bag if it's really going to be such a problem. Oh, we could also leave her with the funny helmet. Why the heck not? Or, eh, nah, she doesn't need that shield. All right, we can sell all that junk. All right, sell this too. All right, good. All right. You want to leave? No, 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 Oh, apparently those things cannot be sold. How may I assist? Can we even sell oh, that? Then. It says we can. A whole barrel? What a deal. Alright. Wow, selling off a lot of stuff here. Making great money off of all this magical treasure. And if we can't sell King Strom's book, maybe Carrot will keep that as a memento. Uh, yeah, and this is stuff that's just gonna have to be dropped. Okay, good. That's a wrap then.
So let's take Mazzy to home sweet home.